Hi, my name is Scott and I'm with ProScore and I'm here to talk to you about how to use ProScore for a virtual competition. What you'll need with ProScore is you'll need our ProScore software as well as our iKeypad iPad score entry system licenses. If you have those, great. If not, you can definitely give us a call and we can help you get, take care of getting those. ProScore is used basically the same way virtually as it would be in a in a in gym meet. The only difference is that the judges are connecting in with their I own iPad remotely over the internet into your computer. The way that the meets are set up, um, as far as synchronizing with the reservation system, um, setting up your sessions, rotations, albeit they might be somewhat different for a virtual competition as far as scheduling, but um, that's all done exactly the same in ProScore. When it comes to the uh, uh, score entry, um, the setup of it is done exactly the same way uh, as it always has been, um, if you've done it before. Uh, the only difference is that the iPads are connecting in over the internet rather than through your local Wi-Fi. So um, let's go through the setup of the software as though you're doing it for the very first time. And I will point out where it gets a little bit different and the three key things that you need to uh, identify in order to give the judges the information that they need so that they can configure their iPad to connect into your system. Normally you would do that yourself with your own iPads that you would be providing to the judges, but um, now you need to provide that information to the judges so that they can configure their own iPad so that they can connect in. So with that, let me start showing you my, uh, my Windows desktop here. So I have ProScore installed. ScoreGen is the software that we need to configure. It comes with ProScore. Um, there's no need to download it separately. So when you install ProScore, ScoreGen will come along with it. So let's just run that. And we'll go through the setup of that software. So the first thing when it comes up, we'll need to go to the Setup and Utilities tab and click on the Setup icon. And this is the default configuration when it comes up. So we'll need to uncheck the Use Junction box since we don't have that and enable the iKeypad connections. And then down here, we'll need to enter our registration info. This is the code that you would get after ordering the, uh, the iKeypad connection licenses. So I'm just gonna put that in here real quickly. Sorry, this code is only gonna be good for the purposes of this demo. Um, it'll show us now that we're licensed for four connections. And all I have to do now is put in a password. This password is what's gonna be used by the judge's iPad. When it connects, it's gonna log in to ScoreGen and this is the password it's going to be when it logs in. So I'm just going to make up one here. It must be eight characters, it has to have upper and lower case letters, a number and some kind of special character. The last thing that you need to do is define your keypad IDs. This is going to determine what iPad is going to enter scores for which event. So if you have um, just four uh, iPads, you'll just enter a single ID for each judge. If you were to have, say, eight judges, you would enter an ID for judge one and for judge two. So I'm just going to enter a, a number for judge one on each event. So the easiest thing to do is just give them an ID of like 01, bars 02, beginning 03, and floor 04. Very simple. You're just making them up, basically. They're just a two-digit number. It can be anything you want, really. So with that done, you have we now have two pieces of information that we're going to give our judges. The first one was the password, and the second one was the keypad ID. So if if I'm going to be the head judge on Beam, then I need ID 03. If I'm going to be the head judge on Vault, then I'm going to use ID 01. 
simple. So after putting on all that, I'm just going to close the setup. And now ScoreGen is ready to go. It's ready to accept connections coming in and um, ready to, you know, for, for using for uh, score entry. Now here comes the probably the most uh, difficult part of the setup. And it's something that would never need to be done at a normal meet, an in-venue meet, I should say, uh, where everything's connecting through local Wi-Fi. But because the judges are going to be connecting in through the internet, there's an extra step that has to happen in order to allow those connections to come through your firewall that is a part of your internet service and end up at your computer. So we need to add a port forwarding entry into your firewall or into your router, internet router, um, to allow that those connections to pass through. It does require logging into your internet router. The, whoever provided your internet service gave you a router and you'll need to log into that in order to add this setting. Um, the easiest way to, to get logged into it or to know where to log into it is to go down to your network connection icon and click on your network connection. And if you get into the profiles of it, it will show you what your current IP address is. But more importantly, it will show you the IP address of your DNS server, which is really the IP address of your router and your gateway. So this is the IP address we want to go to in a browser to log into our, our router to add our entry. So I'm going to open up a browser and I'm just going to go to that IP address. 192.168.77.1. And it's going to ask me to log in. And this is the part that or may not know, hopefully you know it or somebody knows it. You may have to contact your internet service provider for help on this, uh, at least getting access to your, uh, to your router. Once you're connected to your router, the port forwarding is almost always an advanced uh, configuration. So you typically wanna look for on your menuing system for whatever router you have, look for an advanced menu and some kind of advanced setup. And it'll always be called port forwarding or should be called port forwarding. It might be different, but look for port forwarding. And when you get to port forwarding, you'll be presented with a screen that'll be lit, uh, give you a list of any current forwards that are then defined in your router. If you are at the gym and you have spot TV, you may already have some port forward entries in here for that service. We just need to add a new one. Um, we don't want to add um, any one of these existing services here um, because these are all just generic internet service um, that, that are out there. We want to add a specific one. So in this case, in my router, I'm going to add a custom service. And I'm going to give it for the service name. I'm going to type in ProScore. And our protocol is definitely going to be TCP UDP. You can do either one, but the, let's do both. And the port number is 51514. That's uh, the specific port number that the our iPad system is going to connect in using. So that's the external port. If, you're, uh, if your router gives you the option of changing it for the internal port, we don't want to change it. We want to leave it alone. And then we need to know where we're going to send these connections. So when they come in through the internet, they need to go somewhere. And in this case, I want to send them to my computer, my laptop. And that's my IP address, 7726. We saw that right here. OK, and that's the name of my computer. So that's where I want it to go. I'm just going to hit Apply. And now I've got it and I've got the entry in there. So now any incoming internet uh, iPad connections or iKeypad connections that come into my router are going to get automatically sent to this laptop. So the third and final piece of information that you need to give to your judges is your public IP address. 
if you're in a venue and they were all connected in uh, in a local Wi-Fi, the iPads would self-discover the IP address that they were going to connect to, and everything would just be, you know, happy and easy to do. Because they're coming in externally and they're going to be going over the internet, they need to. The judges need to know where to have their iPad connect to, and it needs to be your router's public IP address. And the easiest way to to figure that out is to go to what is my address.com. And when you go there, it'll show you what your current IP address is. Very simple. This is the third and final piece of information that your judges need to know. Okay. So with those pieces of information, let's go and pretend and look at it from the judge's point of view. So let me switch over to my iPad. Should come up here, there we go. So here's my iPad and I already have the uh, iPad, iKeypad app already downloaded out of the app store. It's free, so it doesn't cost the judges any money to get it and put it on their own iPad. And you can use any iPad that you want. It doesn't matter whether it's a mini. I just happen to be using a mini. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a, uh, a pro, one of the big, the big pros or the regular size one. And in fact, it'll work on any iPad manufactured since I think 2011, uh, which basically excludes I think the very first ever iPad is the only one that you can't use. Um, otherwise it works, it just works. So go to the app store, grab the app, it's free, and then get it and then go ahead and just tap on it. And it's gonna come up and it's gonna, no, oh, it must not be connected to the Wi-Fi here. Let me go check. Nope. There we go. Okay. Now that's got to be connected to a Wi-Fi. Okay. So this is going to come up, and I've got to. There's three things that I have to put in: password, the keypad ID, and then we're going to have to manually add the ScoreGen host. I guess they add a meet. This would be discovered automatically, but for the judges coming in remotely, they'll have to manually add that. So I'm just going to tap on the little plus sign and it's going to ask me to enter in a IP address. So my IP address from the, that I got from the website was 7366. Hit OK. And I'm just going to tap on it to select it and it'll put a little check mark next to it. And now I have to do is pick a keypad ID. I'll make myself on vault so because we put 01 for vault. So I'll just make myself on vault and I just have to put my password in now. I don't think my uh, keyboard showed up on the Zoom screen here. Okay, so I got my password entered, got my ID entered, and I've got the IP address selected and I'm just gonna tap done. And it should say connecting. There. Then down at the bottom, it says it's connected to ScoreGen and it's waiting for system startup. That's good. That's exactly what you want to see. That means that this iPad now went out over the internet. It got through our port forward on our router and it ended up connecting to the ScoreGen software running on my laptop. And it's just going to sit here waiting for system startup because I haven't told ScoreGen that I want to actually score a session yet. So um, it's just going to sit here. So this is normal. Judges just can expect this to sit here until you actually start the system up and start the meetup. So let me switch back to my laptop screen here. Okay. And you can see now that a radio status has popped up on my screen here, showing the IP address of the iPad that connected. 
how much battery it has, and um, what event it is. And all I have to do is um, to, to start the meetup is to select what session I want to score and click start. And then it's running. So if I go back to the uh, iPad, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's set up and it's now showing I have three little test gymnasts in here. So I can, I'm on vault at the top, it shows I'm on vault. And I can, all I have to do is I can either type in their number over here, or I can easier, I can just tap on the girl that I want. And it'll slide over and it shows all the information and it's prompting, it's on the blue there for judge one. I just type in what score I want for judge one, judge two, hit enter gives me my average and I just tap save and it gets saved and it's done. So this is exactly like what the judges would be using if they were uh, in a meet and um, all of this is being done through the internet. And if I switch back to the um, laptop screen, you can see that it's showing the last uh, competitor and the score that was that was entered by the judges. So, so that's it. Uh, that's all there is to it. Um, again, the three things that you need to know are the password, your keypad IDs that you've created, and the public IP address of your router. And then you give that information to the judges and they'll be able to connect in. So hope that helps. And um, if you have any questions about getting all this set up or need any help, uh, I'd be glad to uh, assist in any way that I can. Just give us a call and um, we'll walk you through it. We go through it together if we have to. Okay. Thanks a lot.